is we're gonna put thumbs on the bottom of her feet and we're gonna bring the hips out. So we don't okay. wanna put pressure on the belly, she just ate a lot, so we're gonna put them out. Okay. And we're gonna slightly elevate those hips. So we're basically getting her into a squatty potty position. Oh yeah, does that feel good? <laughs> you can always do a little rocking. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Gonna do a little gentle rock, and if you really want to help, you can also. There it is. <laughs> Bring those hips down and then up, and then down into the side, down into the middle. Now, when I say middle, you see I'm not putting pressure right. on the belly. Down into the side, down into the middle, and then I'm gonna do that little gent for her. A little gentle rock. Okay, yeah, it seems to work. I'm gonna do a gentle rock. Rock -a, rock -a, rock -a. Rock -a. Rock -a. Good. She's focusing on it. <laughs> Are you focusing? Do we get out that little bubble? Now she's gone. She went from being really rigid and stiff, right? To now she's like nice and soft again. Yeah. So I think that was the shark. Yeah. Put fart that we were looking for because yeah. now her whole demeanor changed, right? right. She, that was the bubble she was feeling, and yeah. now she's like, oh, that's more comfortable. Yeah. So when you're not feeling that resistance, when she's nice and loosey goosey, that's when we can move on. Okay. So okay. she's like really tense and uh, bear and down, right. stay with the hips. And now that she's like, oh, nice and calm, I think that was it. We'll move on. So okay. we're going to come up to her shoulders, and I'm just going to hold her shoulders away from her ears for a second. Now I'm going to bring her head back to the center. To make sure she's nice and straight. Hi, friend. I'm just gonna hold those ears away from the shoulders for a second. Do you feel another bubble in there? No, as things move, she might get that tension and right. have another bubble move where we need to, we'll, we're gonna keep an eye on it. But right now she looks pretty comfortable. Then I'm gonna take her into that guppy pose. So I'm gonna take my hands and I'm just gonna help her to the end of my legs. Okay. Now I'm gonna hold on to her body. And I'm going to let her just kind of extend. Oh, there you go. Nice. Now her head is touching my leg. Okay, okay? yeah. So her head is on my leg. So she's not dangling. Right. She's fully supported. Okay. And I've got my hands on her body. So she's not going to kick off. She's not going to slide off. And she knows where she's in space. Because yeah. her whole body, backside, is touching my legs. Right. And her whole front is being held by my hands. Okay. Right. Just her neck. Off. Yep, just her neck. Okay. And she's doing some nice little stretches for us. Now she gets uncomfortable. I can feel the gas. I just felt a bubble. Yeah. I can it's always, always on do that left that side. Yeah. digestion. So we can always, while she's here, do just a little gentle, a little gentle massage. Now she's talking to us, right? She's a good communicator. So she's telling us, I don't want to be here. So I'm going to help bring her out of it. Okay. Is it better? And then she got quiet. Yeah. So great communicator. So now she's tight again. We felt that bubble move. So I'm going to do some little shaky shakes. I can hear it. Did you hear it? Oh, I hear you. I hear you. Now that's a tube in there, so it's going to take some time for it to move through. Yeah. So you may have to be patient and do this a couple times yeah. to have those bubbles get through to where they can actually be released. So when she's in this like pushing, now I got it soft again, because again we did some massage, we yeah. did some hips. So she's nice and soft and she calmed down, so now we're going to go into her head okay. while she's calm. And then when she goes back fussy, we'll go back to her legs. Okay. So I'm going to... Which way do you want to go? Oh, okay. Hi. <laughs> Are you happy now? Always take time to talk to the baby. <laughs> Are you happy now? Does that feel better? Yeah. Hi. So if you get eye contact, focus on that. You could do neck stretches whenever. Take advantage of those communication interactions when you get them. Okay. So I'm going to turn her head towards this shoulder. So I'm just going to... Oh, no, she wants to go this way. So we're going to let her go that way. <laughs> And we're just gonna hold gentle hold open palm i'm not okay. forcing anything gentle gentle 
I'm gonna let her come back to center. Hi. And then when she's soft, I'm gonna turn that head in that other direction. Okay. There we go. Can you go that way? I know, I see that resistance. Sure. Okay, tell me all about it. Now I'm not going all the way to that shoulder like I was on the other side, okay. right? Because she's she's telling me that that's still a little tight. Yeah. So I'm going to go really gentle, and then I'm going to kind of come back to center okay. and try again. Just like in yoga, if you've ever gotten into a pose, and yeah. they're like, come out of it, go back into it. Yeah. Because she's really resisting that side. So I'm not going to force it. We're going to come out of it. We're going to go back the first direction. So you see how and easy she goes into that? Yeah. Okay. So if you try this for a couple days and you just cannot get her to turn in that direction, that's when it would be appropriate. Okay, all done. She's telling me she's done. That's when it would be appropriate to do some baby body work. Okay. Chiropractic, cranial sacral therapy. Okay. Yeah, how soon can you start that? At birth. Okay. You can start it at birth. This is a DIY at home for yourself because yeah. you know your baby best. So you yeah. can do these a couple times a day when she's in this nice, happy, awake, alert state. Yeah. If after a couple days you're trying and you're like, we are not getting anywhere, we're not getting that head to turn anymore to that other shoulder than we started, yeah. that's when you would go to another skilled and trained professional okay. to help expedite that process. They'll do some other more advanced stretches and exercises right. that are in their scope of practice to be able to bring symmetry and release tension. Okay, perfect. Right. Yeah, I have a lady I can call. Right. So you would start chiropractic or cranial sacral therapy. Okay. And if after two, like usually after two sessions, if you're not seeing a difference, you then jump to physical or occupational therapy. Okay. Um, they're going to, that, that you're working on different things then. So chiropractor okay. cranial sacral is working on alignment and tension. Yeah. OTPT are going to work on strength, range of motion, and coordination. Okay. I need to go to chiropractor too, so we'll go together. <laughs> so that's it. We're done.